Okay, boys and girls, let's try number two. Numero two. It says a 5S elect electron in a neon atom. Okay, so here's the nucleus, and here are some of the orbitals, all right? We have a 5S electron. Loses energy. So there's an electron here. It loses energy, boom, and goes down to a 3P orbital, all right? And in doing so, it gives off energy in the form of light, right? The higher the orbital, the more energy. So if you want to go to a lower orbital, you have to release this energy to get down there. And that energy is released in the form of light, right? Uh, the energy of this light photon is exactly equal to the difference in energy between these two orbitals. So going under that assumption, um, we're told that this light wave has a wavelength of 633 nanometers. All right, how much energy does that correspond to? All right, well, if you go back and look at your notes, there are several different formulas that we use for energy. One we just use in problem one, E equals H nu, that's the frequency. Uh, there is another, though, where we um, we replace the frequency with C over lambda, speed of light over the wavelength. And that has to do with uh, this equation right here. Speed of light equals frequency, um, C equals lambda nu. That the speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. If you solve for frequency, you get C over lambda. So all we do is go up here and say, let's get rid of the frequency and put in C over lambda. So we get H, C over lambda. Anyway, uh, let's throw uh, some numbers in here. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. That's Planck's constant. The speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Notice the seconds cancel with the per seconds. Now, we want just units of joules, which means we need to get rid of meters, which we'll do by utilizing the correct uh, wavelength. Now, the wavelength is given in nanometers. What we need to do is put the wavelength down here in the bottom, but change it to units of meters. So how do we go from nanometers to meters? Now, we do that uh, in a couple of different ways. We could use um, uh, dimensional analysis to do that, and let's, let's do that. So I'll get out, let's say, my red color pen here, and we'll say 633 nanometers, and each one meter contains... 1 times 10 to the ninth nanometers, right? Nano means 1 1 billionth. 1 times 10 to the 9 is a billion. So a billion billionths of a meter is 1 meter. Hope that makes sense to you. Um, and when you do that, you will get an answer of 6.33 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Right, that's what you have to put down here. 6.33 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Now meters cancel with meters, and all you're left with is joules, which is exactly what we want. All right. Let me make some room over here. And we'll take and move our answer over here. So... E is going to be equal to this times this divided by all of that. And when you do that, you get 3.14 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. That's that right there. Okay. And there's just one last question here, and that is, what color is this? Now, you just go on Google and look it up, all right? I might Google something to the effect that uh, I would say, what color light has a wavelength of 633 nanometers? And when you look that up, you're going to uh, find 
that they're going to say it's either orange or red orange or it's red so it's somewhere up in the uh, top of the rainbow if you remember your Roy G Biv red and orange go together so this is somewhere in between red and orange all right okay, that's it for number two